So we got the pick and it's LJ Collar. Okay, so I'm not that surprised he snuck into round one. I know the Raiders liked him, by the way. If they didn't take, if they didn't go clean furl in round one, Collier out of TCU. I'm different. I actually kind of like Ben Banigu more out of TCU. So Collier kind of fits the the base setting edge. Kicks inside on passing downs. Not a premier athlete. But he is a good pocket collapser. Again, I had him number 11 overall on my board. I knew he was going to go higher. You needed an edge. I would have gone a different direction. But I think for the Seattle Seahawks, their boards are always weird. I'm not that surprised he's been the pick here. He's going to be, in theory, that Michael Bennett type player. He's not going to be a bend guy for you. He's not going to be a Vaughn Miller type. But he can be a collapse the pocket, set the run on, on base downs, kick inside. Like a, a Breland Speak, Samario Edwards, if he actually hits, unlike um, Edwards did in the end. So power, speed to power type guy, some inside outside flex. That's the route I think that they'll play Collier. Seattle does weird stuff. I never get their picks right. I have not gotten one right in years. I mean, so I'm looking at the comments section, and uh, I wish I would have kept his comment because it just flew by me. He said, I'm about to stop being a Seahawks fan. A lot of these picks, uh, DJ the Great says weird ass pick, which, yeah, I think uh, we kind of agree with that. So, what's the grade? What's the grade? Let us know. But <laughs> it looks like we.